If anyone is going to be charged and forced to remain in jail, forced to be serving prison time for an obstructing an official proceeding, then Jabal Bowman should face the exact same fate for every single January 6th defendant. He should have told Capitol Police immediately that he made a mistake, as he claimed. But it wasn't a mistake, Mr. Speaker. It was on purpose. It was intentional. Mr. Speaker, it is it's really rich to get a lecture from someone about civility who stood on this House floor uh, and screamed and interrupted the President of the United States during his State of the Union. Or someone who comes, or somebody who continues to circle the wagons and cheer on the insurrectionists who attacked this Capitol violently on January 6th. I was the last person off the House floor on that day, and I saw what happened. And for people to come down here and defend those actions, it is pathetic and disgusting. Um, I want to apologize to the American people. Um, I want to apologize that Republicans are wasting your hard-earned taxpayer money with yet another stupid and meaningless censure resolution instead of doing anything that will help the American people. Jamal Bowman is a good man, a decent man, a kind man. He was rushing to exit a House office building so we could go vote, and he activated a fire alarm in the process of trying to open the door. Did he destroy government property? No. Did he obstruct a, 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 any, uh, an official proceeding? No. Did he wield a deadly weapon? No. Did he assault or injure anyone? No. But did he apologize and take responsibility for his actions? Yes, he did which is more than we can say for January 6th, when this building was desecrated by an angry mob sent by Trump to overturn an election. And Republican members of this body still act like nothing happened. How disgusting. What a, what a, how offensive it is to the men and women who protect us that my friends on the other side of the aisle continue to act like nothing happened that, that day. Look. At the end of the day, this has nothing to do with Congressman Bowman, and my friends know that. It is about deflecting from how unhinged this majority is. They had to expel one of their own members last week, for God's sake. The first speaker in history to be ousted. Nothing of any consequence to show for an, for an entire year in the majority. Nothing. You have done nothing. You've wasted time on stupid measures like this, nothing. Look, this whole exercise is just nuts. For Republicans, it's all about appeasing their orange overlord at Mar-a-Lago who can do no wrong. They don't care about governing. They aren't fit to govern. They aren't concerned about the serious and complex issues facing this country, the world, or the people we represent. For them, being in power is all about retaliation and revenge and the destruction of their perceived enemies. It is time for the Republican Party to grow up. Mr. Speaker, I, I don't want to waste another second on this meaningless resolution. This is pathetic. You have, my, the Republicans have turned this chamber into a place where Trivial issues get debated passionately, and important ones not at all. Right. My friends have done nothing, not a damn thing, for the people that they say they represent. How, do you, how can anybody on the other side of the aisle go home with a straight face and say that you're representing your constituents? You've pr you produced nothing for them. You've turned this place into a joke. It, it is sad that we are here today and again I will end as I began by apologizing to the American people. I urge a no vote on this pathetic, stupid resolution, and I yield back my time.